Hello, my dear students. I hope all of you are safe and well. Today, I am to I am going to discuss about uh, the food canning. What is suspension? What is coagulation? Uh, and uh, different types of perfumeries, toiletries, etc. At first, I will discuss about uh, what is food canning. By canning foods in proper way, we can preserve food for a long time safely. Uh, it's called food, food canning. Uh, if proper process of canning is not allowed, is not followed, then Clostridium botulium bacteria can grow on food. The enzyme secreted by the bacteria is known as toxin. And the mixing of toxin with food is called botulism. Botulism causes poisoning of food. So food poisoning may cause death to an individual. So proper food canning is needed for us. This is the general uh, process for food canning. At first, uh, we can uh, divide it, this process in three stages. At first stage, collection of raw food, grading, washing, peeling, and slicing. And at stage sec two, blanching of food, canning of food, and uh, adding canning or adding canning liquid or sugar syrup. Blanching of food, your blanching of food mean, blanching of food mean the slice and raw food, the slice, blanching of food mean, the sliced and raw food materials are heated for five to 10 minutes in boiling water or steam flow, steam flow. This process of heating of the food materials is called blanching. Okay. In stage three, exhausting and sealing, and then retorting, then cooling cans, and after all, uh, leveling and storage should be needed. Okay. And now we are going to uh, discuss about what is the difference between solution, colloid, and suspension. The homogeneous transparent mixture having particle size uh, 0 to 0 0.1 to 2 nanometer, which doesn't settle down at the bottom on the standing, they're called solution. For example, mixture of sodium chloride in water, that is saline water, is one of the example of solution. Uh, number two, Number one, solution. Number two, colloid. The heterogeneous opaque mixture having particle size 2 to 500 nanometer, which doesn't settle down at the bottom of the standing, is called a colloid particle or simply colloid. For example, milk is, for example, a colloid particle. And uh, finally, what is suspension? Heterogeneous opaque mixture having particle size uh, more than 500 nanometer, which settle down at the bottom of bottom due to gravitational force. Uh, these are known as suspension. And for example, mixture of uh, barium sulfate in water or antacid syrup is also a suspension. And this is the comparison among solution, colloid, and suspension. Homogeneous and transparent, transparent heterogeneous and opaque colloid particles. Suspensions are heterogeneous and opaque. Particle size is present 0.1 to 2 nanometer for solution, 2 to 500 nanometer for colloid, and more than 500 nanometer for suspension. Particles are invisible even with ultra microscope. Particles are invisible in simple microscope, but visible in ultra microscope. Particles are visible in simple microscope and sometimes is necktie. Particles doesn't still down on standing in the case of solution, but in the case of colloid, particles settle down if heated or if suitable light is added for the suspension, particles settle down due to gravitational force. In the case of solution, no light scattering, I know tinder effect is occurred, but in the case of colloid particle, light scatters hence show tinder effect, and uh, in the suspension, light scattered in some causes, but no tunnel effect. Uh, finally, solutions are stored in stable mixture. 
colloid also stable mixture, but suspensions are unstable mixture. What is tunnel effect? The scattering of visible light wave by colored particle is called tunnel effect. The scattering of visible light wave by colored particles is called tunnel effect. Is the classification of colored particles? Classification of colored particles here, the type of colloid, uh, dispersed particle, dispersing medium, and example, okay, at first aerosol, uh, type of colloid aerosol, dispersed particle, uh, solid, and dispersing medium gas, for example, smoke, uh, smoke, uh, when dispersed particle is liquid and dispersed medium is gas, uh, but in that case, the example will be fog or cloud. What is foam? In case of foam, dispersed particle gel, dispersed medium liquid, and the whipped cream. Okay, for gel, dispersed particle is liquid and dispersed medium solid. For example, jelly curd, jelly or curd, emulsion, liquid, liquid, uh, shampoo, oil, and water, liquid, solid, milk, or water. In the case of soul, solid, dispersed particle solid, dispersed medium liquid, milk, paint, milk of magnesia. Etc. Okay. Remember that when gaseous dispersion medium is name of colloid, this name is called with aerosol. Aerosols are two types: solid plus gas, and liquid plus gas. Okay. When gaseous dispersing particle is name of colloid is foam. Foam are two types: gas plus solid, or gas plus liquid. Okay. When liquid is dispersed particle, name of colloid is called gel or uh, emulsion. Liquid plus liquid gel, um, liquid plus liquid, uh, liquid plus solid equal to gel, but liquid plus liquid equal to emulsion. When solid is dispersed particle, name sol. Um, solid plus solid, solid sol. So for example, metal alloy, colorless glass, etc. Solid plus liquid, sol. Uh, gold soul, milk of magnesia, pain, cell fluid. Okay. What is coagulation? Coagulation is the chemical or mechanical process by which the dispersed particles of a colloid get associated to form lumps and finally settle down at the bottom or float on the dispersing medium. Coagulation is the process. It may be chemical process or physical process or it is, it is Maybe chemical process or mechanical process where the dispersed particle of a colloid get associated or aggregated to form the precipitation uh, to form lumps and finally settle down at the bottom or float on the dispersing medium. This is known as uh, coagulation. What is coagulant? The chemical substances that destroy the interparticle force needed for the Stability of the colloid and thus fails the colloid particle to the seated forming lumps is called coagulant. Coagulant means cationic coagulant and anionic coagulant. Here, some example of cationic coagulant and anionic coagulants are uh, given here. The ability of coagulation, uh, the ability of coagulation of coagulant uh, can be measured by the Hardy Suzy rule. The higher the charge of the coagulant ion, higher the, is the power of the coagulation of the coagulant. Here, the power of coagulation of cation of coagulant, here sodium, magnesium, and uh, aluminum three plus ion. Among these, uh, more ions are present in the case of aluminum. So it has more coagulation power. In, in other case, uh, for the anion, here, the more the negative charge and so phosphate, uh, ion has more coagulant coagulation power. And this coagulation of any coagulant uh, can be determined, can be measured by the hardy suzy rule. What is emulsion and emulsifier? Emulsion is a type of colloid in which both the dispersed particle and the dispersing medium are liquid. The substance which gives stability to an emulsion is called emulsion.
minimal C by R. And here, this is the composition of uh, cow milk and different types of minerals, uh, protein, water, fat, lactose, vitamin, etc., etc., are present in uh, milk. And this is the separation of butter from the milk. Just uh, you have right, you have to know the flowchart of this. Here, the description for preparation of ghee from butter. Uh, very important point I'm going to discuss. Uh, toiletries and perfumeries, the chemical product that we use to wash our body, mouth, or ear are known as toiletries, soap, shampoo, face wash, toothpaste, etc., etc., are toiletries. But the scented liquid or the fine slippery powder prepared from the harmless, antiseptic chemical scented flowers and scented spice oil, and we apply on the skin to make it odorless and soft feeling and known as perfumaries. Uh, it may be hair oil, talcum powder, rose water, snow, cold cream, finishing cream, aftershave lotion, lipstick, henna paste, or maybe etc. are some perfumaries. And this is the composition of uh, rose water. And this is the composition of hair oil. This is Talcum powder. The primary component of talcum powder is talc. Uh, this is the uh, chemical formula. Uh, this is the chemical formula of talc and zinc stearate mixed with mixed uh, in talcum powder uh, acts as antiseptic. Magnesium carbonate is mixed for bulk increase and the methanol is used for perfumaries. Here, uh, different types of composition is present here present here, and this is the structural form of menthol that is uh, used in uh, talcum powder. This is the preparation of talcum powder. This is the uh, formula or composition of baby powder. In baby powder, boric acid is used as antiseptic to make the skin soft, zinc oxide, and sterile alcohol is mixed with it. This is a cold cream. Uh, the component of cold cream mineral oil that acts as lubricating agent, white borax, uh, condensing agent, glycerin surface agent, borax antiseptic, distilled water as a solvent, rosemary scent for perfumery is used in cold cream. Uh, cold cream is used in winter season as a moisturizer. It keeps skin soft and smooth. Okay, snow or vanishing cream. It is used as a foundation for uh, makeup, providing suitable adherent base or for talcum powder. It keeps the skin soft. Here, uh, different uh, components, different components are present uh, that are used in vanishing cream or snow. And this is the uh, different components of uh, lipstick, wax, or fat, oil, alcohol, pigment, perfume, etc., etc. Chemicals are used uh, for producing of lipstick. And there's a component of after shave lotion, after shave the solution used by man after getting shaped. He used it used as an antiseptic solution. Uh, different types of chemicals are used for preparing after shave lotion. After shave, maybe ethanol. Denatured ethanol used 30 part from 100. It acts as antibacterial and antifungal agent. And sorbitol it uses 2.5 parts and keep skin soft and painless. Uh, perfume, 0.1 part create the aroma feeling. Menthol, 0.1 part creates cold feeling, boric acid. 2.0 parts used as antiseptic and water 44.4 parts used as a solvent or medium. And this is the uh, main component of henna paste or mehdi. The main component of mehdi uh, extract in lotion that is uh, 2 hydroxy 1 4 naphthaquinone. It combines with amine amino group of protein. 
of skin or hair producing bright brown color. This is the structural formula of Lawson. This formula of uh, preparation of Mehdi mixture. Glass cleaner is here. Does grease and carbon particles deposit on glass apparatus and glass wares to make is dirty? Glass cleaner is used to clean glass apparatus and glass wares. And here the component that are used in glass cleaner is given below 28% ammonium solution used as solvent of grease, sodium laurel sulfate used as surface active agent, and isopropyl alcohol is used as volatile solvent. Uh, ethylene glycol, tetrasodium, pyrophosphate, dye solution, perfume, and water, different types of components are present in glass cleaner. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are not used in glass cleaner. Why? We know that the main component of glass cleaner is main component of glass cleaner is sodium hydroxide. Main component of glass cleaner is a sodium ammonium hydroxide. But if you use strong base like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, these strong basic materials can react with the main component of a glass that is silicon dioxide and acidic in nature and destroy uh, the silicon dioxide. As a result, the glass become corroded and rough. Ammonia being a weak base, it doesn't react to it. Silicates and safe for glass. And this is the clean, cleaning mechanism of a uh, glass cleaner. This is the toilet cleaner. The, points to be considered during toilet cleaner preparation to remove the strain of toilet bowl, to remove the bad odor in the toilet bowl and to kill germ present in toilet. Okay, different components are present here. Caustic soda, sodium, laurel sulfate, calcium, hypochloride, water, dye, phenol, different chemicals are present in toilet cleaner. Caustic soda and sodium, laurel sulfate are the Two main components of toilet cleaner and acts as washing agent. Calcium hypochlorite acting as the bleaching agent removes bad odor and strain on toilet. The antibacterial agent phenol kills bacteria and removes bad odor also. Okay. Then uh, I am going to discuss about the preparation of vinegar. To process, small vinegar process and quick process. Vinegar is six to ten percent aqueous solution of acetic acid, and the small vinegar uh, is prepared by three stages. At stage one, we have to prepare the alcohol, sucrose, hydrolysis in presence of invertes. The invertes is secreted from uh, yeast, okay, and get and will get glucose and fructose. Glucose and fructose, uh, how I say, uh, degree, glucose and fructose uh, decomposed and produces uh, and produce ethanol and carbon dioxide in presence of enzyme at 20 to 24 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, preparation, preparation of ethanol from Glucose or fructose in presence of zymus enzyme, it is also known as fermentation. Stage two, preparation of acetic acid. Ethanol uh, is oxidized uh, in presence of air, atmospheric oxygen and produce acetic acid. Stage three, acetic acid prepared in this oil contain. Uh, live acid vector. To kill this acid vector, it is heated at 75 uh, to 80 degrees Celsius temperature for 20 minutes. Uh, finally, usable vinegar is obtained. And this is the quick uh, vinegar process. Tin in ethanol is oxidized by the air in presence of bacteria mycodermacity at 35 degrees Celsius temperature. In that case, ethanol is converted directly, my directly vinegar in presence of microderma 
acid is. Okay. And this is the mechanism of our food preservation by vinegar. Petrification of food occurs due to growth of harmful bacteria in food. These bacteria secreted some enzyme, which was the poisoning of food. Vinegar lowers the pH of the food materials. As a result, bacteria cannot survive. Moreover, hydrogen ion produces from the vinegar form coronary bond with lone pair of nitrogen and protein of enzymes. And so, petrification of food doesn't occur. At first, uh, East plus ion is produced from vinegar, and this East plus ion combined with uh, this nitrogen combined with this, this nitrogen ion with a coordination bond, okay, and destroy the uh, catalytic capacity of enzyme and food remain in safe position. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for all.